This deep research agent can research any topic you want using Perplexity's newest deep research model. It's fast and it's efficient. And the best part about it is you can chat with it using a Telegram app. You can be out about and you can message the bot, and it's going to do the research, create the document, and it's going to send you a text saying that it's complete. To get this started, first we have a trigger node. Inside of this node, we're using Telegram to receive the information. So if we hit test, it's going to listen to any message we are sending inside our Telegram app. So here inside our Telegram app, we can say, let's do a research on the assumable mortgage. Hit send. It's going to listen to that message, and it's going to populate that message right here. Now the next thing it's going to do is going to pass that message inside our deep research agent. Inside our deep research agent, we are using a tool agent, and we are using uh, ChatGPT 4.0 as the chat model, and we are using simple memory. And for the tool, we're going to call this HTTP request tool, and we're using Perplexity's deep research uh, model. So inside our writing agent. Here is the prompt that we're using. You can copy this and paste that into your workflow, and you can reference that in the description below. So the next thing we need to set up is the HTTP request node. So right here, we are referencing Perplexity's deep research model. And, and for the method, we're using post. For the URL, I want you to just copy and paste that inside your workflow. And for the authentication, we're selecting none. And here, we're going to toggle send headers. And all we are sending is the authorization and the API key. So for the API key, all you want to do is type in bear. And then after that, you're going to hit space. And this is where you will paste in your API key. In order to grab your API key, simply just go inside your perplexity account and go to uh, API key, and there is your API key right here. Come back to NA10, and now paste that in right in here. Scroll all the way down, you're gonna toggle send body, and you're gonna use JSON below. And inside the JSON field, inside the JSON field, you're gonna copy this exact expression and uh, paste that inside your workflow. And you can also reference this uh, expression inside the API documentation, which you can reference that right here. Um, if you are setting up a dedicated HTTP request node, you may benefit from using the canonical URL. Simply just copy this code and uh, import that inside your NA10 workflow, and this is gonna automatically populate all the data you need inside the HTTP request. So you don't have to do as much. But one thing you need to change inside the expression is the model right here. By default, it's going to say Sona. However, you want to use the Sona Deep Research model. And you can grab the verbatim name from the um, API documentation simply by going to Models and go all the way down where, where it says Research Models. And there, there it is, Sona Deep Research. You're going to highlight the whole thing, copy it, and uh, paste that right in here. And for the system row, you are basically saying that you are a professional researcher that analyzes the input, and uh, you're going to do the research to provide the insightful data. And for the user, this is where you will map the uh, incoming message from the Telegram app. Now, once the research agent has completed 90% of the work, the rest is fairly easy to set up. All we want to do is create a Google Doc and add the content to the Doc, and then upload that to uh, whatever Google Drive folder that we have. So inside the Google Docs, assuming you have everything connected, we're using Document. For the operation, we are creating an empty document. And inside the folder, we have created a folder called Research. So we are putting everything inside that folder. And for the title, we are simply just drag in whatever we sent inside our Telegram app uh, as an expression. So we can name the title to be uh, Deep Research on 
whatever topic. So we can map that in here. So when we hit test, it's going to create a ID which we will reference in the next node, which will be adding the content to that document. So inside inside here for the operation where we hit, uh, we will select update, and for the doc ID, we can grab our doc ID from the previous node. We can map the ID in the expression field, and here we're going we're going to toggle simplify. Leave everything as default, and in the text field, this is where we will drag in the content written by the agent. So we can map the output schema right inside here as a expression. And the last thing we need to do is send a message in Telegram. We already have our chat ID set up. If you don't know how to, we have another tutorial which I can link that in the description. Basically, you're gonna just keep it simple.、Uh, I'm gonna just say your research is complete. Please take a look inside your folder, and that's it. So if we hit test workflow, this is the entire process. Go inside our Google Drive. Folder and check it out. And right here, there is our research. Now, if you feel this tutorial has been helpful, be sure to download this template in the description below, and be sure to watch this playlist next.